did you just started copy trading or considering to start, then this video is a must for you. In this video, we are going to cover the biggest mistakes many people are doing, especially when they are new in this market. And those mistakes can cost them all their initial capital. So those should be highly, highly avoided. And that's why I recommend you definitely to watch this video till the very end so you can avoid all the mistakes that other people have been done before you. But before we are starting, as always, the financial disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor or similar. I'm just showing you here my experience, sharing with you my opinion. And before you're considering to invest in any project or similar, please get a professional advisor and only invest money which you do not need for a living because every investment is having risks involved also. So in this video, I do not want to cover how to select a trader or how traders can somehow manipulate their charts to make them look better. So this video will start from what you have to do or what you should avoid to do when you decided you are going to follow this specific trader. And the first mistake I want to cover, and I have seen a lot in the last time, is that people are not fully aware of the risks involved when it comes to copy trading. So some people just panic and freak out when they see some red numbers, but actually this is normal in trading. You cannot expect that each trader or each trade will grant some profits. This is not at all how the market works. And even it is not normal that each day will give you profit. There will be days where the trader makes some loss. This is totally normal. But for us, we of course want to choose a trader which at the end, at the end of each week, at the end of each month are granting us profit. But also be aware that generally most people lose money in this market. There are high chances of getting like nice passive income, but of course we also have the chance, the risk to lose our investment. So even if the past just granted really awesome results and the trader made profits for the last one month, half a year, one year, even two years or more, this is not guarantee at all that in the future there will be the same profits. Even the best traders, even traders on the Wall Street or whatever, they are making losses also. And even their accounts get liquidated at some point. So please never, never forget this. The second mistake a lot of people are doing that they do not withdraw their profits. And this is actually a big one because I know that the compound effect is really tempting and I know that it's really nice to check the numbers and see how fast money can grow passively, especially due to the compound effect. But honestly, this is not how it works. Please do not become greedy, but save your profits also, especially if you're not return on invest yet. So withdraw your money daily, weekly, whatever. Save your money, save your start capital. And once you reach your return on invest, then it's up to you. You can leave all the profits in there and use the compound effect or you withdraw just 50% and the other 15% are invested or you withdraw everything and put it in some other investment. This is totally up to you, but please always take some profits out. Now, the next mistake, and this is a really, really big and important one, and I have seen it so many times, and this is just so sad to see, because it's all about the wrong settings when they start copying someone. I had people who are telling me, oh, they lost money with this. Why do you still uh, use this? Why do you make profits with this? And I say, it's not possible that you make loss on this, because since now, there's everyday profit so how comes you have lost and they sent me screenshots and we analyzed it and I always found it was their mistake because of some wrong settings 
And I feel so sad because really they could have made nice profits, but some they made loss just because of the settings or even lost their full investment. And um, yeah, I just really don't want it. So I have done a full step-by-step -step instruction video on how to start with RoboForex, how to create an account, how to do the KYC, how to create a trading account, how to subscribe to a copy trader, and um, how to get the trades visible on your desktop and app. So please, if you are new to this copy trading on RoboForex, please watch this video carefully and follow my instructions. But in this video, I also want to show you the most important things when it comes to the settings and the mistakes which a lot of people have been done and which caused them unnecessary loss. So for this purpose, I will go with you through these settings and create a new trading account with you. So first of all, whenever you decided you want to copy someone, you will have the following page here. And actually you have here the trader name and you have here all the account details, some info about the trading strategy, and here are more details. And really, if you are new and you don't know everything here, just read it, everything really slowly and carefully. So every detail you need to know is written here. So now we go to RoboForex and we go to accounts and we open a new account. So I can show you how to set it up, where you find all the information which you need. And it's really not that difficult, but you have to do it carefully. So when you open a new account, please make sure it's a real account or live account, depending on your language. And um, you do not use demo and you do not the copy FX trader account, but the real account. Okay, now you go to the copy trader page and you will find here server name and account type. And the server name is RoboForex Procent and copy FX MT4 Procent. So this here is highly important because as you can see here, it's mentioned MT4 and Procent. And this is something many people do wrongly. Like the Lux Gains here, they are using a Procent account. But I have seen many people who opened a normal pro account, which is really bad because the copy trading will not work like this and you will get losses on them. So what does pro cent account mean? Pro cent account means that all your deposit will be displayed in cents, which means if you, for example, deposit 1000 euro on your account, you will not see 1000 euro, but you will see 100,000 euro euro cent so this is the actual case so now we go to our account and we choose the trading platform mt4 metatrader 4 as you have seen here right mt4 so now the next one is the account type and per default here with me is mt4 pro which i just explained to you for here for deluxe gains you need the pro cent this always varies depending on the copy trader you are for copying. That's why I show you where you will find those information. So whoever you want to follow, you will be able to do it. Okay. So now we choose MT4 Pro Cent. Then we go with the currency. And I always also use the currency which the copy trader is using, which you will find here. They are using USD. You can also see here the minimum deposit as 500 USD also. So I'm choosing USD. You could and at this point also use the Euro if you feel more comfortable or any other, but I highly recommend you using the same currency as they do. Now we have the leverage, which is per default one to 1000. So we are going to check it here. Leverage with the Lux Gains Gold Scalper, it's one to 2000. With a deluxe gains gold scalper, it's one to 2000. So we are going to change it here. We have to agree to the increased leverage program because one to 2000 was really quite a lot. And then we enter a password. This password is not your account password from RoboForex, but any new password because each 
trading account has its own password also. And then if you want to support me and my channel, feel free to use my affiliate code OGFN. And I am beyond grateful for everyone who is helping me and supporting me. So now you confirm and after this, you can deposit some money. And here is another mistake many people are doing. So they are sometimes putting too less money in the account. And if you have the trading profile here, the copy trader profile, you will find minimum deposit. Like in this case, it's 500 USD. So this means you need to have minimum 500 USD in order to copy them and in order that the copy trading strategy is fully working. So sometimes if you deposit like $500 only, but maybe 500 USDT and Tether, RoboForex is taking some exchange fees of if USDT to USD. They are charging 1%, I assume. So you would have not 500 USD in your account, but like 459 or something like this, which means it would be too less. And this is really important that you maybe add some more money instead of the minimum deposit of 500, you can put 510 or similar, but make sure that you really have the minimum amount. Because also if you have too less money, the copy trading will not fully work and it might be able that some trades will be copied, some not. And this can also mean that you do not have the same profits as the master account or even have loss when the master accounts do make profit. Now, the next mistake I have seen many times, unfortunately, is that they are changing the copy mode. So once you subscribed or when you are subscribing, you are able to use or decide which kind of copy mode you want to have. And I highly recommend you to always use the proportional copy trading mode. This means if the trader is making 1% profit, you will make 1% profit. If the tr trader is doing 1% loss, you will have 1% loss. If you know what you are doing, you could also choose classic or fixed, but I do not recommend it. And I have not seen any copy trader who recommended it so far. So if you're new in this industry, if you're not 100% sure what you are doing, just leave it at proportional, okay? So now the next one is the ratio. And per default, you will find the ratio one there. I have seen people who are putting a two there or even a three, four or five. And this is just blowing away your money, literally. So what does it mean? If you put in the ratio two, means you have twice as much profit from whatever the master account, the copy trader is doing, but you also have twice as much risk. And some people triple it or even multiply their risk and reward ratio by five. And this is just insane. So because what does it mean? You are not only having more profit or more loss, but especially if the market is not going as assumed and maybe the trader has a drawdown of maybe 20% or whatever, or the margin level is less, then the copy trader is seeing his numbers, his margin level, his drawdown, and the drawdown that other people are having because they are proportionally copying him with a ratio of one. So if you have a ratio of two, means your drawdown is much higher, which also means that your margin level is much lower. And this means at some point, it is possible that you are getting liquidated. Are you getting much, much higher and faster liquidated than the master account? And for example, the master account is having, I don't know, some kind of margin level or drawdown, and then the market turns in profit. Okay, so the trader can still close in profit. But you have a ratio of two, three, four, five, whatever. Your account is already blown away. You blasted your account already and you lost all your money while the others made profit. So please don't be greedy and leave the ratio at one. So now you have one trading account and you are following one person. So now I have seen people are following several copy traders or strategies with one account, so with the same account. And this is just so, so bad, literally. I have seen people losing their money because of this. And this is just, I'm sorry, but a stupid mistake which you can avoid so easily. So in fact, 
If you have one trading account, please do follow only one person. If you want to follow more persons, then please create a second account. And with the second account, you follow another person. So with a, if you need more, create a third account and then you can follow another strategy. RoboForex allows you up to 99 or 100 trading accounts. So use them. Do not never ever put more strategies in one account. It is technically possible, but it's just not worth it. Please create another separate trading account, please. So now another mistake people are doing is that they manually do trades with the copy trading account. So same as the topic before. So if you want to trade by yourself, also open your own trades. Also, please use a separate trading account for this purpose. Do not trade manually on your own with the copy trader account. Don't do it. Because what happens if you trade and open orders by yourself? And let's say the market doesn't turn the way you expect it to be. So you will have some floating loss, your margin level is lower, your drawdown is higher. Now, what is the copy trader seeing? They don't see your manual trades. So this means if the market is not going well, you will be liquidated at some point earlier than the copy trader, which again can cause that you are losing your entire money or part of your money, while maybe the copy trader still can turn around and make profit. So just don't do it. And actually, there are also things you need to know when you are manually closing some of the orders from the copy trader. So of course, you can do this. This is totally your right. And especially if you don't agree with the prognosis from the copy trader, you can, of course, manually close the trades. But there it highly depends on the strategy of the copy trader if this will have any effect on your output. I know that many traders, Lux Gaines, David Franke, they are working with grids. They are building a series of trades if the market do not go for their favor. And they are calculating the entire series and they are closing the entire series or part of the series when the accumulated profit is good as per their strategy. So what happens if you close one or several trades by yourself? This means that the entire calculation for you will not work anymore. And so you will, might have loss while still the copy trader made profit. And trust me, I have seen this. And also, if the calculation doesn't work anymore because of your closing manually the trades, then it might be possible that the other trades, they are also not closed anymore because you know, just the calculation doesn't match anymore. So you can close it by yourself, but please be aware of those things. Then, of course, another mistake I have seen is that people are trusting some trader or some trading strategy so much and they put all their money into one account. And as it is with every investment, you should not put all your eggs in one basket. So please, of course, depending on your budget, but if you have a specific budget, do not put everything in one account and just follow one person, but follow several persons, several different strategies, several different forex pairs or gold or DAX or whatever. So you are just diversified. This is highly, highly important because as I told you at the beginning of this video, even the last one year, two years, whatever, uh, went really well for this trader. It doesn't mean that the future will be the same. There's always risk involved that you are losing this money. So please diversify and uh, just always save some profits also. Don't forget it. And especially on RoboForex, there's free withdrawal every first and third Tuesday of each month. So yeah, take advantage of this. And there's one more thing which I almost forgot. And this is all about the leverage here, one to 2000. If you have any trading account with this leverage, you must be aware 
that as soon as you reach $5,000, your leverage will be automatically reduced to 1 to 1,000. This is one of the terms of RoboForex. They will do it automatically. And what happens if your leverage is 1 to 1,000? Some people thinking that, okay, leverage 1 to 1,000, pretty good. So I have less risk. This is okay for me. But this is actually not the case. If you're using not the same leverage as the trading master account, then you will have fully different trades also. And I have seen people who subscribe to the uh, Deluxe Gains Gold Scalper and they had a leverage from 1 to 1,000. They made loss, while we, with a leverage of 1 to 2,000, made profits. So please don't make the mistake to think that a leverage from 1 to 1,000 will mean half of the risk, okay? And if you have more than $5,000 and you want to follow some of these accounts with a leverage of 1 to 2,000, then I suggest you to split it into different trading accounts because as I told you, with RoboForex, you can have 99 or 100 trading accounts in total, so you can just split up. Me personally, with my accounts where I follow any of the Deluxe Gains Scalpers, I only start each trading week with $2,500 or maximum $3,000 because Deluxe Gains is making so much profits, as you can see here, 5 to 15% per day. They have another extreme scalper, which is even making up to 25% a day. And I have seen some days they are making 33%. So this is totally insane. And due to the high percentage, of course, the risk is high. Don't forget it. But that's why I only start each trading week with 2,500. So even the week is performing really, really well. At the end of the week, I'm still below 5,000. And I'll never have any issues that... RoboForex is limiting me. So now my last mistake, which I have for you, this is also about psychology. And this comes to expecting that the trader is always making profit and always making the same profits. So I have seen some people, they are expecting after they have been like maybe a week with a copy trader that each day they will get this percentage. And that the trader won't stop trading before they reach the, this percentage. And that's definitely not the case. And you should really not do this or the trader will not do this. Because every day the market is different. On some days there is more volatility, there are more news which are impacting the market. And there are days which are due to this much, much riskier to trade. So some traders, for example, they will never trade on a Friday because Fridays they are like more difficult to trade and more risky to trade than other days of the week. There are some specific time frames when there is more risky to trade. And especially during some high impact news, most traders, they stop trading and they do not care if they reach like the percentage they told you or not. Okay, so safety is first for most of the traders. And if the market is really risky that day, and they didn't reach their percentage yet, and they didn't reach the profits you're expecting yet, they will still stop. And there will even be days when they say, no, we are staying fully out of the market. And if this is the case, please just trust the trader because you already trusted the trader, okay? You put money into a trading strategy. So please still at the end, trust this trader he knows what he's doing hopefully <laughs> so he knows when there are high impact news he's evaluating the market and please just respect whatever he's deciding okay he's not your employee or similar okay who is owns you some profits or whatever it is the market always is really different okay so there might be days with loss might be days with high high profits more than expected there might be days with a little profit and this is totally fine just don't expect just don't expect also that the profits are going up 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 always okay there are days we are also closing with loss and if you cannot handle this maybe just switch off the phone and just check in once a day or once a week only on the weekend when the markets are closed anyway and you will just see the results. 
Me personally, I have started trading Forex trading in 2016. And actually, I was pretty good at it, but it was just too much screen time for me, so I stopped doing it. But what I learned at this time, that not chart analysis or checking the news and evaluating the market, this is not the most important when it comes to trading, but trading psychology and your mindset. This is what is the most difficult and this is what is having the most impact on your profit or loss. And even you are just doing copy trading, I would highly, highly suggest you to check out some trading psychologies to get into this topic so you will understand fully how it is. Okay, And everyone who has been subscribed to David Franke to Wall Street Invest, you might have seen his 30 minute long video all about this topic because he also is taking a break from trading now because he's not mentally fit. And there have been people who have taken loans to invest in trading and who have putting the ratio to two, three, four, five, five X. And some people due to this lost their entire money. Even David Franke just made a 10%, 11% loss one day. So it is really difficult to handle the situation. I highly recommend you to check out his 30 minute long video. It's really worth it, especially if you have been following him. And yeah, that's it for today. I hope this video helped you to get some insights. I hope you will leave me a like and subscribe to my channel. And please leave me down below in the comments if I missed something of the mistakes, if you have any questions and if you need help setting up a trading account, you can always contact me on Telegram also. And yeah, just let me know in the comments also whom you are following currently. You will also find the list down below of the ones which I am following. And I'm yeah just really excited to see and to exchange and to check also your traders which you are following and might consider them. So that's it for today and see you in my next video.